Well, though this show recently celebrated its anniversary not so long ago this year, at the end of January, and I'm just a little late for it, but I've decided to tackle this series that I know has been pretty good and what have you since I saw this as a youngin. So prepare yourselves as I talk about the Wonder Years in this TV log right now. This is a Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews TV log. So greetings my fellow YouTubers and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Noel, better known to as the Big D, back again with another TV log. This time I'm going to be tackling a show I haven't really watched for some time, but I am going to try and rewatch it someday because this year re was recently, um, well... 35 years since this program came out. And I gotta tell you, it's really, really something. It's a show that takes place during the late 60s, go into the early 70s. And it really made them household names of some familiar stars, most notably Fred Savage. So here it is, I bring to you The Wonder Years. The Wonder Years was a coming-of-age TV drama theme that originally premiered on ABC in January of 1988, immediately following their coverage of the Super Bowl. Now, The Wonder Years was a big success for ABC, originally produced by New World Television. This, of course, would be... Let's see. Yeah, well, this would be one of their um, later um, shows since after they had recently had a bit of a success with NBC's crime drama, Crime Story, as well as ABC's Sledgehammer, plus NBC's Soap, Santa Barbara. And they had more recently had um, kind of a slight disappointment with their short-lived Rags to Riches, which that happened to have been canceled by NBC at the, the, just right before this show came out. Anyway, yeah, this show is really something. Now then, let's see. The series stars Fred Savage as Kevin Arnold, a teenager growing up in a suburban middle-class family in the late 60s and early 70s. And this show became such a big success in its first four seasons. The show ran for six seasons overall, since it was a mid-season replacement when it premiered in early 1988. Now then... Of course, um, the series depicts the social and family life of a boy in a t stereotypical American suburban middle-class family from 68 to 73, covering the ages of 12 through 17. Where the Arnold family lives is never specified other than being a suburb. But some episodes have license plates showing California and New York. Each year in the series takes place exactly 20 years before airing. <laughs> The show's plot centers on Kevin Arnold, the son of Jack and Norma Arnold. Kevin's father holds a management job at Norcom, a defense contractor, while his mother is a housewife. Kevin also has an older brother, Wayne, and, and an older sister, Karen. Two of Kevin's friends and neighbors are prominently featured throughout the series. His best friend, Paul Pfeiffer, and his crush-turned-girlfriend, Gwendolyn Cooper, better known to us as Winnie. Storylines are told through Kevin's reflections as an adult in his mid-30s by Daniel Stern. Who, of course, this just a bit before he, he got to become an even bigger star with appearing in Home Alone and City Slickers. Anyway... I gotta say, this had a lot of fun bits and what have you. I mean, well, Kevin has been going from on again, off again relationships with Wayne and what have you. 
But even so, they managed to to get back to Garen and what have you. Excuse me. I really don't want to try and get the whole story right. But this show was still pretty big. Yeah. So, I actually got to enjoy this for what I had to offer. With it taking place in the 60s and 70s was really something. I also like how he gave us some great classic tunes and what have you. Which, that of course was the reason why this was never released on physical media until years later. Anyway, after a total of 115 episodes produced and aired through its six seasons, the show ended in May of 1993. Even once the new season, well, not the new season, its final season started in 92, the show began airing five days a week in syndication, going on until September of 1997. Then it re-ran on Nick at Night for four more years. Well, not four more years. Well, actually another, almost another three and a half years. And then again on um, for a little over a half a year on the new TNN, which would still be, well, later be Spike TV, now Paramount Network. ABC Family aired it for three years from 2001 to 2004. Ion aired it for a half a year from April to October of 2007, and The Hub aired it for a couple of years from October 2010 to August 2012. But after that, the show has never been seen again. But nevertheless, it still got some pretty good performances and got nominated for numerous awards. Including numerous Emmys. Let's see. Oh, just about a lot of awards. I gotta say, The Wonder Years was just so incredible. I haven't revisited all episodes. I rewatched its first couple or three episodes a few years back. I'm gonna try again and revisit this show someday. And I haven't really seen the brand new version that premiered over a year and a half ago. Because in 2001, there will be a reboot, of course, focusing on a black middle class family in Montgomery. And Don Sheedle served as the series narrator. Let's see. There was even a Colombian version of this, but unfort which was set in the 80s, but it was a big disappointment. There was also a book that came out in 1990 called The Wonder Years, Growing Up in the 60s, containing information about the creation and production of the show, interviews with cast and crew, and an extensive episode guide, up to the middle of the fourth season when the book was published. Let's see. There had also been video cassettes of this from Anchor Bay, with most of the music intact, a select few songs, however, were re-recordings. Now, for many of the years, it remained unreleased on DVD due to music licensing issues. But soon it got to be put on streaming in 2011 with Netflix and then several other services followed. In early 2014, Star Vista, a subsidiary of Time Life, announced they would release the show in a big, complete series set. And soon, in September of that year, they released it. They also released a box set with the first four seasons, and then they continued with each season in separate sets. So, you could probably find these for pretty decent prices and what have you. So, anyway... Really something, uh, again, like I said. Now, also, again, there were also numerous classic tunes from 60s and 70s heard throughout the series. Of course, the song that starts out as its theme song is Joe Cocker's cover of Will Old Little Help From My Friends, which, of course, was done by the Beatles and ran by their own John Lennon and Paul McCartney. Now, 
our cast includes Fred Savage as Kevin, who did such a great job as that character. Let's see. And Daniel Stern doing the narration as a grown-up Kevin. Ari Gross actually did Kevin's narration for the pilot, the original broadcast of the pilot anyway. Dan Loria played Kevin's dad, Jack Arnold. Was pretty good. Um, Allie Mills played Norma Arnold, Kevin's mother. Olivia Dabo played Karen. I think we remember the character, but I do know she was in this, so. Let's see. And actually, um, her boyfriend, Michael, was played by David Schwimmer, who this was still before Friends even came out. Really something. Wayne Arnold, Kevin's annoying brother, is played by Jason Hervey, who, a fun fact, he and Allie Mills would actually make, a, I believe, yeah, I believe she did, if I'm not mistaken. Give me a, give me a second. Let's see. Yes. They were both Actually, special guest in different episodes of Punky Brewster. Let's see. Next, Paul is played by Josh Saviano. He's pretty good. And, of course, Winnie is played by Danica McKellar. Who, believe me, I say she hasn't aged much. but Because I've seen what she's looked like. I mean, and she's done, well, math books and what have you. Wow, that's really incredible. The Wonder Years, again, definitely a very good show. I think you, you'll you really like it if you've never seen this show. This is definitely worth looking into. So anyway, I think The Wonder Years would definitely be worth looking into. Again, as I've said already uh, twice, sorry for sounding like a broken record. But even so, if you have seen it, so I'm sure you know what the who the characters are and what they look like, okay? Anyway... I think The Wonder Years is good. Um, you can find the full series available to stream on Hulu. That's where it's currently streaming as of now. So, definitely look into The Wonder Years. I think you'll really, really enjoy it and be really impressed with it. But what did you think of The Wonder Years? Let me know in the comments section below. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe, and be a part of the Big D Nation. And stay tuned, my... Next Saturday morning TV log on Dragon Slayer will be coming up. So I do hope you liked this. And if you did, check out the TV logs on some of these other shows. Uh, in the upper left-hand corner is the TV log I did for a, another show for, that aired on ABC that started as a mid-season replacement. Now it's Mr. Belvedere. In the upper right-hand corner is the TV log I did on the Flintstones and the Bomb. Left hand core is the TV log I did on the show that was produced by the same studio that did this New World Productions. That's Rags to Riches. And the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe if you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc. Then I'm your guy. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.